Hello, everyone. Welcome to Dad Bod Pod. This is episode 13. Unlucky number 13. Or some might say very lucky 13. I do. I don't think 13 is lucky. For those of you whose episode this is one, my name is Andrew. My name is Brian. And together, we make Dad Bod. And this is Dad Bod Pod, and it's a very special Welcome. day. Do you want to know why it's a very special day? Because... It's a trap. <laughs> it is. It's a trap. We're talking about Star Wars today, bro, because it's May the 4th, and that means it's Star Wars Day. Okay, that's enough of that. <laughs> I got loud. Let me turn that shit down a little bit. Uh, okay. Speaking of this, uh -huh. did you ever see Star Wars? No. Is that a real one? This is a porn, yeah. Oh, oh my God. Oh, we should have done a whole set. I'm sure there's millions of, of like porn Star Wars related. Yeah, it's pretty tight. <laughs> <laughs> okay, cool. Yeah. I like it. Uh, so yeah, we're doing Star Wars today. Do you want to do you want to run down the plan? Yep. Okay. So we're gonna do old business. We're gonna do new business. We're gonna do state of dad bod. We're gonna we're gonna have a conversation because we came up with a really cool idea. Uh, then we're gonna talk about all things Star Wars, the history of Star Wars, our favorite Star Wars, the future of Star Wars, and then instead of a movie because we're talking about Star Wars, uh, let's do a video game, a couple of video games. Mm -hmm. I, I like video games. Perfect. Yeah. I like it. Then we're gonna do segments. We have uh, dad libs, tools yep. time, dad facts. And dad jokes. Perfect. We, we will explain what all of those are later. And then that's our outro. What do you think? You're going to find out, boy. <laughs> <laughs> that's awesome. I am super excited. Which one of these does something cool? No, not that one. Not that one. Oh, shit. <laughs> that's one. <laughs> there we <laughs> <Cool>. go. <laughs> are you done? You're done. Um, all right. Old business. Uh, all right. We have to start with an apology. Brian, do you want to take it? Yeah. All right. Let's yeah. do it. I don't fucked up. <laughs> Last episode, we were talking about Meat Wad, Meatball. I, I said Meatball. Uh-huh. And, but it, <coughs> wow, it's Meat Wad. <laughs> Sorry, <laughs> sneeze, sneeze attack. It's Sneeze Wad. Sneeze Wad. <laughs> but yeah, Meat Wad is the character. I apologize for that. Uh-huh. So, I love you all, all of you crazy people that watch that show who are awesome. Um, but yeah, it's not meatball. <laughs> it's not meatball. But you know, there is something to be said about confusing your balls and your wads. Oh, dude. <laughs> you, you can't get a wad without balls. No. Right? <laughs> That's so. true. That's true. You can't get a meat wad without some meatballs. You did. <laughs> yeah. They're all, I mean. Bravo, sir. <laughs> there's family involved in there. Okay. <laughs> it was wonderful. <laughs> the whole reason we brought up that, that apology was to make a wad ball joke. Can't bless children without the balls. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. Yep. Okay, moving on from that. Um, you got anything new going on, dude? Um, no. Neither do I. Honestly, um... Uh, nope. <laughs> <laughs> I love how you put that much thought into it. I did. Okay. I mean, I don't have anything new going on either, so we can just kind of skip right. right over that thing. Let's go. Yeah? Yep. Okay. So, real quick, though. <laughs> Uh -huh. You're not you're not getting off that easy. Damn it! Nope. I thought so. I even it's a trap. I even laid a trap for you. <laughs> nope. Damn it. No, you're not getting off that easy. All right. Because we've been talking about this solo you did with your daughter. Oh yeah. I guess I oh I can't leave everybody hanging, huh? So tell me about what went down. Do I have a drum roll? Uh, one? How how did it go? That's not a drum roll, but uh, she got a superior. Oh. Which is which is the highest? Yes. Uh, yeah, it's the highest one you can get. She did fantastic. She fucking killed that shit, rock star style. Sweet. Uh, she sounded great. The judge was very impressed. Awesome. And, um, yeah, it was, it was fun. I wish uh, to speak no further on the matter. All right, perfect. Let's move on. <laughs> no, I'll let everyone know. <laughs> Fuck. So I go to sit down for this at this piano, right? And it's an old fucking thing, not like what we have here or yeah. what we have at home. Janky a, ass shit. Yeah. And the pedal is, uh, it's it's fucked. And I'm I'm not an experienced enough piano player to not let something like that affect me, right? So I go to st I start playing, and all of a sudden, all of my short notes are long, and all of my long notes are short, and it sounds weird, and I'm in panic mode. And if you watch the video, like like my daughter takes it at a very respectable tempo. And by the time we're done, because I've panicked, we are a good 15 to 20 BPM oh, yeah. ahead of where we started. You it. But I honestly think, dude, I think she got the superior because we didn't stop. Like, right. we, we didn't start over. We powered through. So good? she 100% she earned that one. Good 
for her. We're fucking done with it. Yes. Woo! We never Woo! have to do that shit again. <laughs> Yo. Oh, goodness. Yo. Uh, for the dads out there, be careful what you commit to because it could turn into a yearly uh, stress-a-thon. Yeah. Yeah. Absolutely. <clears throat> All right, um, the state of dad bod. You know, I was going to look at our Spotify stats because we never talk about our Spotify stats. Spotify's going cool, but at the last minute, dude, literally last night, we got two new subscribers, which brings us our grand total of the Darmy up to 30. Yep. So now what can we do? So, so far, uh, we have taken over a laundromat yep. and uh, the Starbucks next door. Oh, yeah. And with the additional manpower, we can also tie up the ATM machine adjacent to the Starbucks. Yeah, we got a quarter block. Yeah. And we could probably uh, do some real inconveniencing. The Darmies could rise. Could. But we shall. Yeah, we just got to find the time. Yeah. We got shit to I'm do. I'm kind of sleepy. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Uh, also, we got these stickers. Uh, um, they're fun. Oh, yeah. Yeah, the stickers are fun. You guys, if you're in the Tampa area, if you're in the Wesley Chapel area, if you're in the Spring Hill area, keep your eyes peeled for the dad bod stickers. Oh, you they're fuck. They're everywhere. They're everywhere. And yep. they've got a QR code. Yep. You've got to scan that code. That takes you straight to our YouTube page where you hit that subscribe button and uh, then get talked about on a podcast like this. So, yay. 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 All right, then. Shall we start the show? Yes. Let's do it. Let's go. Um, let's see. Uh, I'm going to take a real gamble here. Awesome. That's yep. exactly Perfect. what I wanted to talk Perfect. about. Okay. <clears throat> Star Wars. Yep. What's your relationship with Star Wars? So I grew up watching the originals. Uh huh. Okay. Yeah. I never officially nerded out with all of them. Okay. Right? Mm -hmm. But the originals, yes. Like, religiously watched them. Yeah. But... I never got into like when Disney took over and all the other bullshit, yada yada. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Yeah. But the originals, yes, I'm in it. I'm in it to win it. So you and I are in the we're in a similar age group. Do you remember when the original uh, they came back into the theater as the special edition? Yep. <clears throat> Episode four, A New Hope, the special edition version, was the first movie that I was allowed to go see by myself so okay. it was huge for me like cool. it was huge yeah i remember having so much fun going to see that i saw it so many times and um yeah so i am uh, a purist when it comes to the trilogies um i i compartmentalize them in my head you've got the uh, original trilogy the holy trinity of mm -hmm. star wars mm -hmm. then you've got the prequels that you know they get some things right look they're hated on but right. they're not Horrible. No, they're good. They they have charm, and the memes that come out of those first those those well those second batch those first three episodes, uh, fucking gold. Yep. I we I don't think we've used any Star Wars memes yet, but we'll have to change that soon. Well, I Disney guess. would. Oh, that's true. Find us. They'll, they'll figure it out. Um, you have a mouse at your door, a dead mouse on your doorstep. You just know that Disney's looking for you. Uh, <laughs> Um, and then the sequels, uh, I didn't really, I don't even remember. Dude, the only thing I remember about the sequels is I went to go see episode nine, the last one, um, with a friend of mine who I hadn't seen in a very long time, right? And we're in the theater, and the the name of the planet or whatever it is they're trying to find is, it's, I think, pretty sure it's like Esticle. <laughs> and I remember every fucking time they said that, my friend would lean over and be like, Sounds like testicle. Oh, yeah. <laughs> we have to get to the testicles. So that whole movie, they're just trying to find balls. They're, they're, they're searching. Oh, dude, you know what we forgot to talk about? Motherfucker. We'll save that at the end. Don't let me forget to talk about this. Yeah. Okay. Um, the original trilogy, the first one came out in 1977. And then 20 years later, the special edition came out. Right. Now, there was some backlash with the special edition. Um, because that's when they added all of those computer effects. Right. And it seems like it it's very reminiscent of when a kid learns to jerk off yeah. and they just jerk off on everything without any regard of yeah. like people's personal property yeah. or it's disgusting, right? So George Lucas learned how to use a computer, or and I say that I'm paraphrasing. ILM used how to use right. learned how to use computer, and they just computer came all over those movies. Yep. Um some of it's cool. Some of it is sh garbage. 
and um, some of it I can do without. But they almost over abused it. They almost is an understatement, yeah. dude. They absolutely. I'll tell you, one of the worst, most egregious scenes is the musical number that they just inserted into Star yeah. Wars Episode Six for no reason at all. Return of the Jedi, we get a musical number. Right. Why do we need that? Also, that's not like they're singing in English or right. anything. Just give me Yub Yub or Nub Nub at the end, and that's that's all the songs that Star Wars needs is Nub Nub and the beginning for the crawl, and that's so it. You're saying you just want a Nub Nub and a Rub Rub? Yes, please. <laughs> and you're and you're happy. And then I, that's a Rub a Dub Dub. Okay, Rub cool. a Dub Nub. Yeah. <laughs> Another dick in the tub. Yeah. <laughs> now it's time to go down to the pub. <laughs> yep. Let's go. <laughs> Happy dude. Um, I'm trying to remember the my the first time I saw Star Wars is is I just I remember the first time I saw the Death Star scene in yeah. episode four. I was I was awestruck. Like it melted my brain how cool that was. Yeah. Yeah. And think about the computer interaction they had then in 77 yep or in 97 in 77 okay not much no to no. make that look like that oh well that was all almost all of it was practical right yeah i remember i saw behind the scenes footage of making the dense star trench and uh -huh. they they glued like six ping pong tables together yep. to make that set and think about how cool that looked though it looked awesome as a little boy you're just like what apparently what they did is they they found like a a, a company out of china that made model ships and they're like send us all of them yep and they cannibalized all of these model battleships and shit and that's why you have all the turrets and stuff on yep. the death star incredible yep they pioneered some of the the special effect techniques that we use today absolutely they invented a lot of uh cinematography techniques that we use today yep uh, I think one of the biggest improvements for me honestly in at least in this if we're talking about the special edition for episode four um the explosion at the end when they're driving, driving, when they're flying off the Death Star. I remember in the original cut of that movie, yep. that explosion was so disappointing because right. it was it was filmed practically right. and it was just like an M80 inside a styrofoam uh -huh. ball. So it was just like, <laughs> pew! Yeah. And then, but when the boy, when they added the shit in, the, and I was in yeah. the theater. And so, and this was 97. So like Dolby just came out. Surround right. sound was just a thing. Right. So I remember sitting in the theater, episode four, and that do you remember THX? Yeah. Do you remember those big oh, yeah. sound tests yep. that they would do in the yep. The first time I heard one of those, I about shit my pants. That would have been the first of two times I would have shit my pants in a movie theater. <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> but um yeah, I was just I melted. I just melted into the seat when I heard that. And yep. then um to see that explosion, to hear that explosion at the end. And it's funny. You go and you watch a movie like Star Wars 4, 5, and 6 in the theaters. You know how it ends. Right. But you're still on the edge of your seat. Yeah, and that, the whole time. That le le just lends to the fact that it's such a good movie. So now we fast forward to Disney Takeover. Well, hold on. So the prequels, Disney hadn't gotten the prequels yet. Yeah, no. One, two, and three was no, George No, this Lucas. was still, yeah. Yeah. Uh, do you remember the hype for episode one? Oh, yeah. So I was a... It was 99, so I would have been a freshman in high school, so you would have been a sophomore or a junior. You would yep. have been a junior. Yep. Junior in high school. So, yeah, the hype must have probably been even more palpable for you. Yep. It was nuts. Yeah. I remember <laughs> remember going to see that movie, and I saw it with my parents, and um, I remember not being as excited as I – like, I remember – telling myself that I, I, I'm, why am I not more excited about the end of this movie? Because it was a shit movie. Yeah. <laughs> George Lucas got in a lot of trouble because there was a lot of like racial uh, yeah. things. And it wasn't put together movie. well. No. And it, it lended more, it, it leaned more towards special effects. Right. As like the focal point of the movie, whereas special effects were definitely necessary for the old movies. The focal point was story. Right. You know what I mean? It's like one. It's like they wrote four, five, and six, and then George Lucas was like, "Oh no, I've got one through nine in my head." Right. And it's like the since these when as soon as they started writing episode one, they wrote those movies to fill in holes of the previous three movies. Right. And that is lazy writing. Yeah. 
because that that means that at least to me and maybe he started with one two three four five and six i don't know but it it it, to me it says that at the very least he rewrote one two and three to fit what four five and six became right so you might as well have just started over at that point yeah you know and made new movies so i agree that was one, two, and three. Um, uh, three, I remember three. I was way more excited about three than two. Two was a shit show, in my opinion. Yeah. Um, but three, three had the lightsaber battle. Yep. But it also had the no. No. Yeah. Um, so I don't know how I feel about three. How do you feel about three? Three was good. Yeah. Right? I think, honestly, like the originals, 100%. Then I think three is my favorite out of the second batch. Okay. All right. Absolutely. Yeah. Now we get into Disney, and I, mm, I'm i nothing against them. I've seen them, I think. I just, you know what it is? I'm, <laughs> I hate to, God damn it. I'm too old to, to invest in new shit. So I went, I remember the first one came out, uh-huh. right? And I went with my buddy, and they were like, all right. I didn't even see him. We're going to go to the theaters. No, I didn't even do that. 20 minutes in, I fell asleep. (laughs) Yeah. Straight up dead. (laughs) 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 Bad, bad. And he kept like hitting me. I'm just busting my eyes. He kept hitting me. Come on, dude. (laughs) Fuck. It's a trap. Leave me me alone. Tom, hit me when Leia's away. (laughs) Yeah. When Leia's in a bikini, hit me up. Mm Mm-hmm. Yeah, so and that's you know it's because seven, eight, and nine again they might as well be they might I and mean, they are they're they're I don't know my, I I have a separate series of issues with seven, eight, and nine because that one relied mostly on the nostalgia of four, five, and six. Right. Like everybody came back to see C three PO and R two D two and Han Solo. And then at the end, when she gives Luke the lightsaber, like everybody lost their collective shit. Right. I I don't remember seeing it, but I think the second movie of that three is the most controversial. The I don't even remember what it's called, but yeah, I I want to like the new ones. I want to be on because it it looks fun to be on that hype train. Right. They're getting all kinds of new shit. I like the Mandalorian. Yeah. That's cool. Well, I like the first two seasons of the Mandalorian. This one's not too not not shaping up to be great. But uh, my point, <clears throat> my point is, I want to like the new stuff, but it's hard. It is because it's so it feels different from the old stuff. It doesn't feel connected. No, it feels like a whole new movie, and it feels like a whole new studio right. and a whole new everything. Yep. And it is. Did you ever see that solo movie? Because now we're talking about spinoffs. Did you ever see the solo movie? No, I didn't either. And everybody says that's the bad one, but I've also heard from people that I, whose opinion I respect, um, saying that that's an okay one. I'll check it out. Yeah, we got to check it out. <laughs> we literally have nothing to say about yeah. Solo. Or I think I saw, is it Rogue One? Was it Rogue One? Was that one of them? I don't know. Yeah, probably. That was the, that, I did see that one because that one was at least interesting to me in the fact that I wanted to see how those people got the Death Star plans. Yeah. But that was it. But here's the thing is sometimes don't mess with original stuff. If it ain't broke, don't fix it. Right. Yeah. But Disney's gonna make a billions of dollars off of this, and they got a whole well, world. Well, how much did George and... Lucas make? Oh, he sold. He sold an idea, Brian. Right, an idea that he made on with the shitter one zero day. Zero money. Yeah, four billion with a B. Yep, billion, Brian. I have ideas all the time. Nobody's paid me two cents no. for one of my ideas. Four billion dollars. I yeah. would I would walk around like the biggest schmuck because every opinion I ever had about entertainment would be right in my eyes. Right. You know what I mean? You're like, how'd you decide to do this? Well, I was pooping. Yeah. <laughs> and I thought that this, you know. Well, yeah, I thought, you know, poop is smelly on the outside. Right. I wonder if it's smelly on the inside. And we go to the dark now side. You've got- <laughs> Now you've got Tauntauns, yep. and they, they're you're, we're inside. Yep. I thought they smelled bad on the outside. Nope. It's just the brown side. Yep. <laughs> well done. Welcome to the dark side. Yeah, man. Um, so, all right, so <coughs> we've talked. So boil it down. Which one is your definitive favorite? You're on a desert island. You can only take one Star Wars with you. Probably the original episode three. The So Return of the Jedi? Yeah. 
Return of the Jedi. Yeah. Okay. Oh, that's a good one. Oh, I mean, not three, but the original. Right, right. The yeah, third, yeah, the the yeah. third one of the original batch. Yeah. Right, episode six. Uh, Return of the Jedi is good. I think if I've only, dude, if I've only got one Star War, it's gonna be Episode Four, I think, because they he made four not knowing if he was gonna make five, six, and so on and so on. So four is the most complete story. Okay. That stands alone. I'll take that. But is also connected to the rest of the universe. Right. You know, in four, we get no hint of the connection between uh, Darth Vader and Luke. Right. We get no hint of the connection between Luke and Leia. Right. We get no, there's nothing. At the end of four, all it is is Han and Luke, and not Chewie for some reason, but Han and Luke get a medal. Right. The end. The end. Yep. Like, if they had never made another Star War, that movie would be complete without a sequel. Yeah, So that's true. why I would probably take that one. I like that. It's also the first one that I ever saw, and goddamn, I love those shots when they're in the uh, uh, spaceships. Yeah. And he, like, turns off the targeting computer and is like... That's yep. cool shit, dude. Yep. That, like... Way my, ahead of its time. My little nerdy brain was like, ah, I want all of that. Uh -huh. Yeah, it was very cool. Um, Okay. What about your favorite line in Spaceballs? <laughs> <laughs> that was a big jump. I know. <laughs> All right, so uh, let's see. Oh, I you know I wrote this down. I didn't even think about it. Favorite line in Spaceballs. Yeah. So I quote that movie quite often. Uh huh. Every time I use a vacuum, <laughs> he's gone from sight. I I say. She's gone from suck to blow. <laughs> and I freak out for some reason. <laughs> every I, time you use a Every vacuum. time I use a vacuum cleaner. I've never seen this happen. Yes, I do. <laughs> I've never seen it, though. I, I need to witness this. <laughs> or my second favorite is probably, like, anytime somebody uses a number combination, like <laughs> one, two, three, four, I'm like, oh, that's the same as my luggage. <laughs> Only idiots use that kind of combination. Yep, that's the same combination I have on my luggage. <laughs> that is a good one. Yeah. yeah. Uh, also, anytime anybody says merchandise, <laughs> Spaceballs, yep. the breakfast cereal, yeah, Spaceballs, the flamethrower. Um, my favorite part. I don't know if it's a specific line, but uh, the it's the part after they've gone plaid. Mm -hmm. Right or ludicrous speed. Yep. But now they're watching it back on tape, and he's like, uh, "Go past this part. Go past this part." Yeah. In fact, never play this part again. And then they get to that part where it's like mirrored, and they're like, "What part of the movie is this?" Yep. And they're like, "It's now. What you're seeing is now." <laughs> yep. <laughs> that was the same scene where he's like, "How many assholes are in here?" <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> I'm surrounded by assholes. <laughs> Keep firing assholes. <laughs> <laughs> That's probably my favorite scene. Such a good That's scene. the one. Yeah. <laughs> so firing good. assholes. Oh, God. The lines don't stop, though. Like, no. oh, my God. Do you remember that line where it's like, are we still combing the desert? It shows the gods. With, like, the Afro the pick? Afro pick. <laughs> Man, we ain't found shit. We ain't found shit. <laughs> <laughs> So many good lines. Oh, God. <laughs> or like, oh, I see a Schwartz is as, as big, big as, as mine. mine. Yeah, yeah, that's a good one. Yep. Yeah. Um, all right, so the future of Star Wars is written in Disney. Yuck. I know. Um, uh, I think they're filming new Star Wars movies that have to do with Rey and uh, the new Jedi Order. Cool. I can't say I'm going to watch them. I won't. <laughs> Now I'm not even going to watch them off of principle. <laughs> I already hate them. No. I haven't seen one any, one thing about them, and I already hate them. Yeah, because I, it just, you know what you know why we hate it, dude. It's a passage of time. It is. Every new Star Wars is another Star Wars further away from my first Star Wars. Yep. And you know what? Hearing kids talk about the new Star Wars, I'm like, do you even do you even Star do you Wars, even bro? Star Wars? <laughs> Get the fuck out of here with their Darth shit. Darth Maul. <laughs> the Vader, dickhead. It's Vader, asshole. <laughs> I used to play Vader sticks because of I was like, oh hey. I bet you did. <laughs> that was the only reason. 
<laughs> is that like tummy sticks? No, they're drumsticks. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Sure. Yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna show you. They're drumsticks, dude. I bet they are. And V A T E R sticks. <laughs> oh shit. No, I'm kidding. I know okay. what you're talking okay. about. <laughs> you had me, dude. I was like, no. <laughs> Um, I also think that the future of Star Wars has uh, yet to be determined because we have all these new um, media outlets like VR, uh, AI. Oh, you know, the future of Star Wars I'm actually not very excited about because they're already fucking doing it. Did you did you watch The Mandalorian at all? No. So one of the most controversial scenes of The Mandalorian, um, at the end, Luke Skywalker comes to rescue Baby Yoda. And it is a computer-generated young Mark Hamill. Oh, like like straight up young Mark Hamill. Oh, okay. And Mark Hamill wasn't even there on set. Like it was not like Mark Hamill showed up and they de-aged him. No, right. they got jackass Joe Schmo from the street and put Mark Hamill's face on it. What did Mark Hamill sign off on? Yeah, that? yeah, he gave him permission. Okay. And another thing that's fucked up, James Earl Jones, the voice of Darth Vader, uh -huh. has signed his, uh, has released his voice likeness to Disney. So now what they can do is they can feed an AI all of Vader's lines, and the AI will make new Darth Vader dialogue. And James Earl Jones has signed off on that. Isn't he dead? No. I don't think so. <laughs> Not yet. Well. <laughs> I mean, but you know what's funny about that? He died when he was Vader. He yeah. died when he was Mufasa. Yeah. Uh, that's the only two things I know him in. I'm sure he was in other stuff. He did not die in Sandlot. <laughs> True. <laughs> True. Uh, so, yeah. So, I'm not, I don't know. I mean, I, and they already, I think they did something to bring Carrie Fisher either back or they de-aged her as well. I'm sure they did. Yeah. So, I don't want Star Wars to be stuck. Because remember how we just said it's another mark of time? Right. I also don't want to watch my heroes grow old either. Right. Like, I don't know. There's no making me happy, Disney, so don't don't even try. Right. Just shut up. And that's what they're trying to do. Yeah, well, that's exactly what they're trying to do. How are you going to... Uh, and that's the problem. Part of the problem with there being so much time between Star Wars is... Right. How do you appease three generations of fans? Yeah. Because it literally is. You're coming on 50 years. Yeah. From the first one, I, if you're tell if you've got three people in a room, yeah, and combined there's a fifty year age gap between, they're not going to get along on anything, especially right. person A and person C. Right? Are you kidding me? They will. They won't see eye to eye on shit. But for some reason, during Comic Cons, they all get along. I guess. Oh, uh, maybe. You know who don't get along is the Trekkies. Yeah, and I know. The, and the dude, Lucas I House. remember the last Comic Con. <laughs> I went to, yeah. My buddy was dressed up straight like Kylo Ren, and I was dressed up like um, Silent Bob. <laughs> because I didn't know I was going till that day. And, oh, you're and like, I'm, I need something. And I'm fat, and I can buy a trench coat for free. <laughs> <laughs> How do you buy a trench coat for free? Well, I went to the Salvation Army. It was like $3. <laughs> so, Brilliant. There you go. Buy a pack of smokes that I won't smoke. Yeah. <laughs> Backwards hat, call it a day. But anyways, we're headed up the escalators, and he's in his full-out Kyler Ren outfit, right? Mm -hmm. Hey, props to you, Eric. <laughs> By the way, that outfit's dope. Yeah. So we're walking up there, and there's a bunch of Trekkies in front of us, and they look back at him and kind of like give him a smug look. You know, I just gave him like a, a silent bob like... <laughs> <laughs> Didn't say anything, but I just looked at him like... You look about to here. fuck your mouth. <laughs> <laughs> you ever been mouth fucked by a fat man in an overcoat? Get the fuck out of here, Trekkie. <laughs> like, I just gave him a look with this random unlit cigarette hanging out of my mouth. <laughs> That's creepy. <laughs> and the guy's like, what? And I was like, I pointed up the stairs like, just walk. Because <laughs> I couldn't talk. Oh, true. Yeah, you were side of Bob. Yeah. <laughs> Wow, you took that bit seriously. Oh, I did. I did. Yeah, wow. I had to. <laughs> <laughs> I like Star Trek, though. I couldn't get into it. Why not? I don't know. It's so cool. <laughs> <laughs> no. It's, no, it's boring as fuck. I get it. <laughs> it is. All We've doing... got to do 
the podcast. <laughs> Shut the fuck up, dude. <laughs> Shut the fuck up, Shatner. <laughs> you know, those were choices, though, because Shatner didn't sound like that in Airplane. No, he didn't. Yeah. <laughs> fuck. Oh, I threw my pen. Um. So, yeah, so the new sagas, I don't know. I guess anything can be good, I suppose. Yeah, if it's good. If it's good, but <laughs> it probably won't be. Um. All right, so did you play any of the video games? Um. So I got into the first one. Which with, one? Like the um, the flying game. Oh, 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 oh. Uh, I want to call it uh, Rogue Squadron. Yes. Yeah. Uh, That's a good one. So that was on the either the 64. That was on the 64. 64. Okay, yeah. cool. But you uh, didn't... After that, no. So no... So you had a 64 and you didn't do uh, the pod racing? Dude, I... You missed out. I literally stopped video games right around then. Oh, because of girls. Yep. And other things. Mostly girls. <laughs> um, My attention went elsewhere. We'll yeah, no, that. I understand, but here's what you missed. Can I tell you a little bit about what you missed? Yeah. So you missed Shadows of the Empire, yeah. which was a it was a video game and a book and a comic book all at the same time. And you had to you could get the whole story if you read the book, but who the fuck is gonna read the book, right? right? I did. So <laughs> you had to play the game to get half the story. And then read the comics to get the other half of the story. I think that's how that worked. Um, but uh, interesting uh, 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 Easter egg. The main character of Shadows of the Empire that you play is a dude named Dash Rendar. He's a Han Solo type. Um, his spaceship, the Outrigger, it looks like a, a, a disc. And then on off to the right side of the disc juts out two things. And then um, another like capsule is attached to it. Mm. It looks very similar to the Millennium Falcon, but okay. it's not the Millennium Falcon. That ship can be seen in episode four, the special edition, as you're going across Moss Eisley for the first time. Oh, cool. Yeah. Neato. Very cool. Yeah. Okay. So uh, we, Shadows of the Empire was very cool. Uh, you played Rogue Squadron. You didn't play pod racing. You should have played pod racing, dude. That was my jam. And then We will get together and play that. All right. And then more recently, I think this is still happening, Battlefront. Now, Star Wars Battlefront is a weird... Uh, I've, I've only played it once, but essentially, um, you are part of an army. And it's an online... A Darmy? No, no, no. A oh. uh, Starmy. Okay. Yeah. A Star Warmy. Okay. Anyway. <laughs> um, you it's an online game and you play with your friends and you're like a squadron of stormtroopers and you're shooting Ewoks and shit. At least but, that was my experience. But do you ever hit anything? No. Nope. First one to hit something loses. Yeah. Yeah. Because you're a stormtrooper. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> yeah. So yeah, that's uh that's that's what we got on that. Cool. Anything left to say about Star Wars before we move on? Nope. Um Originals are good. New ones suck. Here's something. Okay. Here's something. At what age is Zayden going to watch Star Wars? Um, probably around. Probably show him around like seven. Yeah. My is, children have no desire. I've tried. Is that I, too early? No, no. Seven? No, not at all. That's probably an appropriate age. Yeah. I'm trying to remember. Uh, I don't know. That's probably good. Yeah, I think seven's good. Yeah. Uh, I've tried with my kids. They just refuse. They won't do it. They don't want to watch it? No. It's too boring for them. And that's what I mean, because, of course, I tried to show them four, five, and six. Maybe I should try to show them seven, eight, and nine. Right. I don't know. Well, dude, TV has changed, too. Yeah. It's like boom, 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 boom. Flashy, flashy, flashy. Like, <laughs> entertain, entertain, entertain. Yeah. It's like, no. Like, back in the day, you you were in, in the story. You invested time. Mm-hmm. And you wanted to see what happened in the story. I remember in the few years between one, two, and three, like there would be people driving themselves crazy with speculation as to what would be happening. Yeah. Did you ever see the Family Guy Star Wars bit? Oh, yeah. That's had some really good bits in there. Yeah. Um, that was called Blue Harvest. Yep. That was good. I think they did all the episodes. Yeah, it was funny. I can't remember any. Nothing else comes to mind. Uh, and then there's, uh, I would be remiss if we didn't talk about Robot Chicken. Robot Chicken did a couple Star Warses. Yep. Things. Oh, they, uh, the one that sticks out in my head is they did uh, the the Stormtrooper bringing his daughter to work. Yep. That's fun. That one's funny. <laughs> um, yeah, I love the, the, the family guy where they're like stuck in a trash compactor. <laughs> Peter's like, but we just got this couch. 
<laughs> we have to get this couch out of here. We have to get here. this couch. Come on. <laughs> Help me carry this couch. And they're like carrying this couch while the stormtroopers oh, are chasing. Oh, the chasing. He's like, go, 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 go. He's like, come on. <laughs> Who cares about this couch? Pivot. Pivot. <laughs> <laughs> oh goodness okay um are we done with that portion of yeah. the show yeah. awesome guess what it's time for segment time. segments uh let's do some stuff yeah. let's let's do some more stuff one more thing awesome all, all right. right um so the first segment let's 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 talk about these segments first first segment is going to be a dad lib star wars style um, what we've done for this one is we have uh, found the screenplay for a very important scene from a very important Star Wars, and we're going to reenact it because we're dads and that's what we do. But, mm -hmm. um, you know, we're going to take some artistic liberties. So um, wish us luck on that. Uh, and then the next thing we're going to do is some tools time. Tools time. This is a segment where we talk about uh, real life tools, fake tools, and the band tool. So, Tools Time Star Wars Edition. So, we're going to talk about uh, real tools that astronauts use, uh, real tools, or I'm sorry, fake tools that Jedis use, and then we're going to talk about a tool song. Okay? Perfect. And then we've got Dad Facts, all about Star Wars. Little factoids that you may or may not you know. Uh, use. Well, you may use them. Who knows? Who knows? And okay. then uh, Dad Jokes. Brian, how does that sound to you? It sounds good. Do you Let's have go. any complaints? No. Suggestions or notes? Let's go. Let's take it. Let's get this fucking thing on. Let's ahead. do this. You've got me in this room for an hour plus, God damn it. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, I need to do a couple of things first. Hold on. Let me um, fire up the Vaderizer, uh, if you will. Hello. Excellent. And then... Give us a check. check. Okay, cool. Check. That's very cool. Okay, are we ready? Yes. This is Dad Libs. <clears throat> Vader lunges at him, and Luke immediately raises his lit sword to meet Vader's. Sparks fly as they duel, Vader gradually forcing Luke backward toward the gantry. You are beaten. It is useless to masturbate. Don't let yourself be railed as Obi Wan did. <laughs> Luke answers by rolling sideways and thrusting his sword at Vader so viciously that he nicks Vader on the shoulder. The black armor sparks and smokes, and Vader seems to be laughing, but immediately recovers. Luke backs off along the narrow end of the gantry as Vader comes at him, slashing the young Jedi with his foot. Luke makes a quick move around the instrument complex attached to the end of the gantry. Vader's sword comes slashing down, cutting the complex loose. It begins to fall, then is caught by the rising wind and blown up Upward. Luke glances at the instrument complex, floating away. At that instant, Vader's sword comes down across Luke's right forearm, cutting off his hand and sending him sword flying. In great pain, Luke squeezes his foreskin under his left armpit and moves back along the gantry to its extreme end. Vader follows, the wind subsides. Luke holds on. There is nowhere else to go. There is no value in Bitcoin. <laughs> <laughs> Don't make me grind you. You dot not yet realize your importance. You have only begun to discover your penis. Join me, and I will complete you in your penis training. With our combined strength, you can end this destructive conflict and bust a nut to the gangbang. <laughs> I'll never nut with you! <laughs> told you what happened to your grandmother. He told me enough. He told me it was you that licked her. 
No, I am your grandmother. <gasps> no, that's not true. That's really fat. Search your feelings. You fucking know you cunt. <laughs> Come on, the Emperor. <laughs> he has your foreskin. <laughs> now it's your destiny to join me together, and we can rule the porn community as grandmother and son. And I will come with you. <laughs> it is the only way. Vader puts away his sword and holds out his hand to Luke. A calm comes over Luke, and he makes a decision. In the next instant, he steps off the gantry platform into space. The Dark Lord looks over the platform and sees Luke falling below, far below. The wind bling begins to blow at Vader's cape, and the torrent finally forces him back away from the edge. The wind soon fades, and the wounded Jedi begins to drop fast, unable to grab onto anything to break his fall. Suddenly, Luke is sucked into an exhaust pipe into the side of the shaft. When Vader sees this, he turns and hurries off the platform. <laughs> shaft. <laughs> Fuck yeah, dude! That was good as shit! <laughs> My one contribution didn't even land. <laughs> I don't even remember what I said. Something stupid. <laughs> that was fat. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> Woo! <laughs> Dead right. lives! Dead lives! That was fun, dude. That was cool. Hold on, where's the button? All right. That means I guess it's tools, tools time. time. Let's bring up our our. Uh... It's a trap. Excellent. Yes, it is. Okay. Um, what's that one do? Oh, that's cool. It's a Tie Fighter. Tie Tie Fighter. Yeah. What's this one? Oh yeah. We're going to get so sued. Yeah. All right. Um, this is the segment, as I've already Come explained. Come at me, George. <laughs> so, no, he doesn't have anything to do with oh. it anymore. <laughs> Come at me, Mickey. Come at me. Walt. <laughs> Fuck you, mouse. <laughs> uh, this is the time of the show. This is the segment where we talk about tools because we're dads. Yep. But we can't talk about, we can't say tool time because we're going to get sued anyway. Yeah, so I tools guess we, time. Tools time. Yep. Uh, so we're going to talk about, let's talk about tools that real astronauts use in space. Okay. All right. Jetpacks seem cool. Yeah. Um, I would like to ride around in, in one. Just so, do, do, do. do you ever see Gravity? Yeah. Do you ever see George Clooney floating around yep. with his little jetpack? That's cool. And isn't there a dude in L.A.? <laughs> oh, yeah. I showed you that guy, that guy. That fucking guy. What's going on with that guy? You'd think the FAA would do something about him. <laughs> no, they don't know who he is. They don't know who it is. They can't find him. He's just like Iron Man. <laughs> they, they keep laying out like uh, plates of food for him <laughs> underneath these boxes, <laughs> yeah. and he just flies over and goes, It's a trap. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> <laughs> no way. Um, have you know? Have you seen NASA just put out a picture? Um, there's new spacesuits. I'm gonna show you a picture of NASA's new. They cost guess guess how much? Um, half a million. Uh, a little bit higher. A mil a five hundred million. No, uh, I'll just tell you three billion. <gasps> three B, and they are cooked. They're kind of cool. They're called the Axiom Extravehicular Mobility Unit. Um, this spacesuit builds on NASA's spacesuit prototype developments and incorporates the latest technology, enhanced mobility, and added protection from hazards at the moon. But will it play with my balls? For three billion and better. Check it out. Does that not look like something from the Jetsons? Oh. Like dystopian Jetsons. Dude, that's... It's kind of cool. It is cool. But also, but 3B. It, it, it looks like a superhero. Yeah. It looks like a toy yep. for $3 billion. Wow. Thanks, NASA. Thanks. Uh, O2 tanks are cool. Yep. That's all I got to say about them. I'm at, who who thought, let's put some oxygen in a fucking tank? Right. That's cool. Uh, computers. I, I love this. Every, everybody, I, I stumble upon this, uh, this factoid every once in a while, but... Uh, the, we have more computing power in our pocket than mm -hmm. it, the entire NASA team had to get them to the moon or whatever the phrase is. But I very think true. that's very cool. Yep. Um, think about this. When you poop in space. Uh-huh. <laughs> <laughs> like. 
Like, does your poop just come back up to your butt? Uh, well, it's interesting. We have Astro Toilets here. I did some research um, as far as the pooping goes. Okay. Um, it's a you so it's a little cup that you sit on, right? And it's a vacuum. So like, it's it's sucking. Yes. I know what you're thinking, and probably. <laughs> <laughs> and probably. <laughs> so did he come or what? <laughs> I'm wondering, do you think anybody's jerked off in space? Dude, I could I can't even imagine bl- blasting a nut in a three billion dollar space suit and having to send it to Can you imagine if like little floaties come around your I'm like ah! <laughs> get these floaties out of here? My kids are back. <laughs> They're back to haunt me. Ah, <laughs> uh, I know nobody's had sex in space. No? No. No, 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 no. No, all the astronauts are being uh, video monitored the whole time. They are they they are trained to not absolutely know what would happen. We don't know. We on it. That's a really it's it's funny that you mentioned that there was a news article this week that was I forget the group, but a, a coalition was formed to address the growing concerns um, in regards to space tourism. And one of those concerns was, yo, people going to be fucking. Yeah. What do we do? Yeah. Like, and, and one of the points was we don't know if how large a part gravity plays in the body in yeah and for like just embryo development as a zeitgeist development right zeitgeist as a zeogeist whatever you're called um we don't know because if you just like blast a nut into the galaxy (laughs) it's just gonna float away (laughs) into the milky way yeah (laughs) if you make your own milky way (laughs) but if you blast a nut in something or somebody (laughs) Uh-huh. It's a whole different story. I don't know. Where is it, is it going to end in the right places? Uh, uh, if if she's standing <laughs> up and you're just kind of like floating there, yeah. If if you maybe it won't just gravity humping. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, dude. <laughs> I the the idea of it, but think about this: the idea like you having sex at all would be weird because if you're floating, yeah. right? Like imagine you, when you have sex, at least, okay, hold on. I've had sex in water. <laughs> I get it. Oh, no, 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 no. But like, no, it's not even that because even when you have sex in water, you've got a sense of up. You right. know where up yeah. is. So like, you know where to put your leverage. In Like if you try to swim in space, nothing happens. Right. Like you do this and like you don't go anywhere. Right. So you like start humping and it's like, you ever see a dog that's like been humping your leg and so you like pick the dog up and it's still like just yeah. humping? Yeah. That's what you'd look like. But the chick would just like float away after like one hump. That's what I look like in the morning. Oh. <laughs> your chick's floating away? <laughs> when I get my morning boners. <laughs> I'm, that, I'm that dog. Okay. <laughs> yeah, get me in a cold shower. <laughs> just a spray bottle. Stop it! No, no. <laughs> um, space ice cream. Yep, that's cool. Yeah. Do you ever have any of that from the uh, Mosey or any of the science places? Um, I've had <laughs> space of the future. Yeah, well, I, I guess it's essentially the same thing, right? The little pebbles. Uh, no, that's Dippin' Dots. <laughs> <laughs> so I needed to make that joke because, come on, it's been the space of the future since <laughs> I was five. <laughs> How far ahead in the future till we get to this this ice cream of now? Right. You can't come up with nothing later. Thirty five years later. <laughs> Fuck you, Dippin' Dots. Fuck you, Dippin' Dots. I'm about to dip my no. <laughs> dip my nuts in your dots. But right, also, so, you're delicious. Yeah, it this is shit good. is good. It is very good. Um, and then the last thing I have for real astronaut tools is parachutes yeah. because you know. You might have to jump out of a spaceship. And those are intense. Yeah. Think about having to come down through the stratosphere and mm-hmm. got to be heat intensive for yep. sure. Um, moving on then. Yep. Here's some tools that Jedi's use. A lightsaber. Yep. That's a lightsaber. Um, I showed you a video recently of a dude that made a lightsaber. Mm-hmm. It's pretty cool. It's pretty intense. I have wanted a lightsaber. So I do this thing, this weird thing. Um, when I'm in a car and I'm not driving, um, I like to pretend that I can stick my arm straight out the window and push a button on the lightsaber and like any sort of grass or road signs. Zoom. I'm just, <laughs> yep. Yep. I'm just mowing them down. Zoom. Uh-huh. Is that a normal thing? Andrew on a road trip. <laughs> 
Everything is cut so evenly. <laughs> Screaming, you're welcome. <laughs> We're passing cars. <laughs> oh, there's the tires. <laughs> Sorry. You have half a cow. <laughs> Yo, so the lightsaber, it cauterizes as it yeah. cuts, right? So you could essentially make, like, you could sear a steak, like, right as you're cutting it. Yep. That's amazing. That'd be yep. a good kitchen tool. It would. Um, they, had, did you know this, uh, Brian? Jedis use a thing called holocrons. Do you know what a holocron is? Nope. It's like a phone. Yeah. Okay. But for Jedis. Cool. That's it. Holophone. It's weird that they don't have regular phones in the Star Wars universe. No. But they have... Oh, dude. So speaking of that, remember uh, Spaceballs? Beam me up, Scotty. We don't do that anymore. Yeah. Oh, Scotty beat me up three times this week. Oh, right, 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 right. And then he, he's on backwards. Yep. Why didn't anybody tell me my ass was so big? <laughs> Fuck, I need to watch that movie, dude. Damn. All right. Uh, they also use droids. Yep. Here's my beef with fucking C-3PO. Can I give you a... Yeah. You, you, we, we, we meet you in four, five, and six, and you're friends with R two D two. Clearly, you guys are lovers, but that's fine. That's cool. We accept all kinds here at, at the Dharmi. Mm -hmm. Um, but then we're led to believe that Anakin Skywalker, as a child, built C three PO, and has stayed together and intact through countless uh, adventures. Uh, come on. No. That's an unnecessary... And that's what I mean. Right. That's what I mean when I mean that it seems like episode one was written to fill in holes. Right. Unnecessary. I don't need to know where C-3PO comes from. In my head, he comes from the droid factory. Right. That's all. I don't need him to be made by Anakin. Anyways, moving on. Um, hyperspace is cool. Yeah. Uh, I don't understand it because a parsec is a distance, not a time. So I don't know how we can do the Kessel Run in t under 12 parsecs, but right. whatever. Hey, I'm not... Blue Milk... They, yep. use, they use blue milk. Um, they use robes and they use the force. Yep. Yeah. All right. <clears throat> Numa is able to stand apart by recycling the band's long poured over sharpness and creative ingenuity into a track that feels unapologetically new. With its title, a reference to respiration, the song charts the process of yogic meditation, drawing the listener deeper within themselves. A special mention of drummer Danny Carey's out of this world percussive performance as well. That was Numa. I picked Numa because of the uh, um, the meditation part. Yep. That's kind of like the force. That's the closest. You guys, I tried so hard. No. Tool doesn't sing about space. They don't sing about robots. They don't sing about sci-fi. Right. Damn. But they sing about a lot of weird shit. Dude, they're an inner space band. Yep. I always thought they could be at least partially an outer space band. No. Nope, they like to uh, experience. But it's it's all it's it's mental. Yeah, for sure. The whole thing is a mental journey. Yep. Moving on. Which mental journeys are good too? <laughs> that was the wrong button. Oh wait, wait, wait! How do we do this? Oh god! Oh god! Ah, uh, oh, fuck! <laughs> One more time. Oh god! <laughs> there we go. There we go. There it is. The Wilhelm scream. Now we got scream. the intergalactic, intergalactic blast. <laughs> All right, Dad Facts is next, right? Yep. Um, would you like to read that one? Sure. And then I will read... Actually, if you will read that one, and then I'll give you one more, and I'll read these three. So, for all of our dad peoples out there... Wait, wait, wait. No, damn it, son of a gun. There we go. Okay, now we're ready. Did we know... The James Earl Jones recorded all of his Darth Vader lines in a single day. In fact, it took Jones just two and a half hours to finish the job for the original movie. He was paid $7,500 or $3,000 an hour for his services. Not bad at all when you consider that Harrison Ford was paid $10,000 for his entire performance in Star Wars, Episode Four. Wow. That's that's crazy. That's actually. crazy. Yeah. Harrison Ford only made 10k for all of episode 4. Yeah. Did he already do um Indiana Jones at that point? Oh. Uh, after 4, I don't know. I think so. Yeah. He had already done Indiana Jones and he only made 10k? Yeah, I think so. Wow. Yeah, A New Hope 
Uh, sorry. <laughs> Episode four, A New Hope. <laughs> Jones has since explained that Vader is a man who never learned human expression. So we figured out the key to my work was to keep it on a very narrow band of expression. That was the secret. All right. Okay. That's the secret. I like that. Yeah. But the, uh, se the secret is to get paid. The secret is to get paid. <clears throat> Whatever you do. Instinct had a cameo in the Attack of the Clones. No. Yeah. Nope. The popular boy Shut band. Shut your fucking whore mouth. <laughs> <laughs> the, the popular boy band were invited to briefly appear as Jedi in episode two for a single reason of appeasing George Lucas's daughters. But alas, they never made it to the big screen as the scene was cut from the final version. Good. Maybe they'll reappear in another George Lucas's director's cut. Good. Oh, oh Good. I need that. Can you read this one, please? <laughs> Yoda. I didn't read it. I don't know what it says. Was originally going to be played by a monkey. That's right. A monkey in a mask with a cane. <laughs> That's all it says? Yep. Okay. Cool. <laughs> Moving uh, on then. <laughs> ooh, ooh, ah, you are. <laughs> what? Okay. Um, hold on. Just got to do this. Oh, God. Okay. My uh, goodness. Okay. Tupac. Tupac. Could have been Mace Windu. Yes, that's right. Tupac Shakur reportedly told Rick Clifford, former chief engineer at Death Row Records, that he was to read for George Lucas and they wanted him to be a Jedi. But the part was ultimately given to Samuel L. Jackson and filming for The Phantom Menace began less than a year after Tupac's untimely death. In another universe, Miss Win Mace Windu could have been very different indeed. Could you imagine that? That would have been cool. Yeah. All eyes on me. Yeah. Let's see what yeah. we... <laughs> Dear mama. Can't stop, won't stop. <laughs> With the force. <laughs> Last one, ready? Uh, this one is sort of like an open secret. Daniel Craig made a cameo as a stormtrooper in The Force Awakens. That's one of the new ones that are, we probably slept through it. Uh, despite denying it in an interview, the James Bond star did indeed play a stormtrooper in one of The Force Awakens' funnier scenes. Ray's initial attempts to use the Force on him fail, but her persistence phase pays off as she persuades him to remove her restraints and drop his weapon. Ooh, all right. How about that? That's kind of cool. Yeah. Oh, boy. I like it. Dad facts. That was cool. That was cool. Guess where we're on now? Um, my favorite. Dad j, -j jokes Yep. All right. Um, we have and. Okay. All right. Are you going first? Which one? Uh, blue is good. Okay. Yeah. That's all you have to remember. <clears throat> uh, you go first. Okay. My jokes are all Star Wars related except for, I think, the first one. Okay. Yeah. Excellent. Get it. I got. See kicked if you can get me to laugh. Okay. I got kicked out of the library today. Apparently, putting feminism books in the sci-fi section is frowned upon. <laughs> Yo, <laughs> how is that a Star Wars joke? <laughs> I told you all of them except the first. It's a sci-fi joke. <laughs> He says, yo. <laughs> Pop the brakes on that one, bro. <laughs> why isn't gangster rap allowed in space? I don't know. Why? Because there's zero Gs. <laughs> <laughs> That's good. All right, ready? Yeah. Who swore the most in Star Wars? Who? R2-D2. They beeped out every word he said. <laughs> yeah, they did. <laughs> Yes, it did. <laughs> that cursed mother. <laughs> he had a dirty mouth. Yeah. <laughs> what do you call a group of hot moms floating through space? I don't know. What? The Milfy Way? <laughs> <laughs> That's a good one. Uh, my wife screamed at me. You're obsessed with those Star Wars movies. I'm leaving you. I said, may divorce be with you. Yes. <laughs> yes. All right. Hey, Andrew. Hey, man. Hey, hey bud. What up? What's the best place to hide drugs when you're in space? I don't know. Where? Uranus. An <laughs> <laughs> old prison pocket, uh, baby. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> 
Okay, ready? <laughs> yep. I asked my girlfriend to stra- dress up as my favorite Star Wars character from, from sexy role-playing fun. When I walked into the bedroom that night, I was shocked. Love, Jabba the Hutt is not my favorite Star Wars character, I explained. Oh. Fuck off, she shouted. I haven't gotten dressed yet. <laughs> yes! Yes! <laughs> Dude, as soon as you said Jabba the Hutt, like, I was like, oh, <laughs> you ain't getting laid. <laughs> Oh, what do you call, what do you call it when somebody ejaculates in space? <laughs> I don't know what. An astronaut. <laughs> <laughs> All right, ready? Yep. How is Star Wars like a penis? How? Luke and Leia are foreskin. Oh! <laughs> Oh. <laughs> Yuck. Icky. Yuck. That's yucky. All right, here's my last one. All right. What do you call an illegal Mexican arguing with a priest? <laughs> what? Alien versus predator. <laughs> oh, oh, shit. <laughs> Got him! Got him! <laughs> Fucking A! <laughs> uh, <laughs> oh, man! <laughs> it got weird. It got weird. All right, I got one more. <laughs> Uh, did you know that Star Wars fans don't smoke cigarettes after sex? Why? They uh, they chew baka. Oh, yes, <laughs> yes. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! Good, gosh. good, good. <laughs> um, so there you have it. I think that's it, dude. That's <laughs> yeah. our Star Wars yeah, episode. Uh, uh, you guys, we know, we know that we missed a bunch of stuff. We left out a bunch of yeah. stuff. We didn't talk about a bunch of stuff. You we, could talk Star Wars for all night. Four days be straight. here. Yeah. We also know we probably got some shit wrong. It's okay. Yep. It's not that serious, you guys. It's just Star Wars. Uh, moving on. Yep. Uh, you guys, it's time for the outro. Awesome! It's time for the outro. Andrew. Um, if you are still with us, we would just like to say thanks. Thank you so much, everyone. We love you guys. We love making these episodes for you. We look forward to doing it every week, and um, we enjoy watching you guys watch them. We it's have we have people in Belgium, Belgium, that are repeat listeners. Yep. I listen, you Belgium guys. Get at us. Like, email us. Yeah. You know, uh, I know you guys are watching on Spotify, but YouTube's right there. Yep. Leave a comment. Just let us know who Whoever's you are. listening in Hawaii? Yeah. Let us know. Let us know. Well, talk to us. I know there's someone in Australia. Yep. Say hi to us. That'd be cool. You Aussie fuck. <laughs> I think Australia is the only pr- place where you can get away with calling everybody a cunt. Yeah. It'd be, it's fine. That's it's no like, knife. <laughs> it's cheeky. Yeah. Um, so anyways, guys, thank you. Um, Brian, do you have any shout outs this week? Yeah. Okay. I'm going to shout out my buddy Eric, who was Kylo Ren, Kylo when, Ren. I, when we went mm-hmm. there. Yeah. yeah. Um, I'm going to shout out my mom. Oh, cool. Yep. little foreshadowing, maybe, of what's to come? Maybe. Maybe. Oh, snap. Yeah. Uh, I'm going to shout out Optimus Prime. Yes. Because uh, he's my higher power, believe it or not. And I'm going to shout out Pee Wee Herman. Because uh, I feel like life needs a little bit of Pee Wee. It, absolutely. A couple of quick thoughts before we leave. There's a new Power Rangers on Netflix that we should check out. Um, and there's going to be a new Ninja Turtles yep. soon. So check that out as well. Okay. Oh, my gosh. Brian, would you like to do the plugging? Would you like to plug me? <laughs> sure. Okay. I'll if I top. <laughs> okay. If I wanted to get in touch with us, how would I do that? Um, <laughs> I'll plug you, dude. <laughs> <laughs> D-A-D B-A-N-D No Cool Close 
<laughs> if you want to leave us an email, you can do so at oh. uh, uh, D-A-D-D-B-O-D-D-B-A-N-D at gmail.com. That gives you a, a direct access to our inbox. If you want to leave a comment on our YouTube video, that's very cool. You can go onto YouTube and you can go onto Spotify and type in D-A-D-B-O-D-P-O-D. I don't know why I said O like that. <laughs> that was weird. Um, and that'll take you to our pages. And then if you're on Facebook, it's D-A-D-B-O-D-B-A-N-D. Facebook. Yeah. Yeah. You guys, um, you know, get with us. Shout us out. We shout yep. you out. Uh, Any ideas for episodes? Let us know. Yeah. We got emails. Um, are you ready? Yep. Cool. These emails come to us from listeners just like you. Uh, this first one is for Judy for the W. That's cool. Uh the last time the rubber band was that useful, <laughs> it was rubbed around a child's finger uh, as they made their hand into the shape of a gun. Like this. Pew, pew, I pew, imagine pew. she's talking yep. about, yeah. Yep. Uh, well done, sirs. Yep. Uh, that's in reference to my story from episode 11. Your number two? My number two. Yeah, we'll call it that. Move the do doo doo in the theater? <laughs> yeah, the cleanup in, in theater two. Yep. Yeah. Uh, this next one comes to us from, oh, God. Trevertorium. Trevertorium. Okay. Uh, he writes, <clears throat> So that kid, he really lost his eye. You're just going to leave it at that? What was the aftermath? What did Mom A say to Mom B? And such. These questions need answering. Please answer. Please. Please. I don't have answers. <laughs> what do you mean you don't have answers? I graduated with him. Like, he came back to school. Like, But like, I what happened on the day? Uh, I don't know. Did he? He went to. The, he just left and went to the hospital. He went to the hospital. And I was like, bye. And then I saw him back at school like a month later. What did he say to? You? Did you? I went up and I like gave him a hug and I was like, dude, I'm so sorry. <laughs> right? And he's I like, would have been like, who said that? I can't say. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the fuck are you? <laughs> I'm such that's, a terrible. That's person. literally what happened though. I was just like, I'm so sorry. Yeah. And he was like, it's alright, man. It's sports. Like he was real cool about it. Yeah. He was also like the valedictorian, like super smart kid. Oh. So I felt even bad taking his fucking eye. <laughs> Imagine the good he could have done in the world with two eyes. Yeah. Brian. I'm sorry. <laughs> I think, I don't know. <laughs> okay. He's doing good now. I'm He's sure. doing good. Yeah. He's got a bunch of. Uh, now I feel like I got a Facebook request. Patchy eyed kids. <laughs> He's got a whole patchy parent going on there. The kids love him. Every Halloween, they put a little bird on his shoulder. Yeah. I gotta hit him up. <laughs> yeah, we should get him to call in one day. Yeah, um, You're like yeah, you cocksucker, you ruined my life. <laughs> I can't look to the left because of you. Yeah. <laughs> Poor guy's like a homeless guy. Yeah, it's like the only way they pay me is if I let him fuck me in the eye. <laughs> <laughs> I went from valedictorian to getting fucked in the eye. <laughs> <laughs> it's all thanks to you. Give me the socket hole. How much for the socket? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh goodness alright uh, after two more. that I'm not gonna hit him up <laughs> no <laughs> hey check out the podcast yes. <laughs> <laughs> we talk about your eye getting fucked <laughs> <laughs> no <laughs> I'm gonna let that let sleeping ghost lie <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> with one eye <laughs> Uh, they sleep with one eye open. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> uh, fuck. Um, uh, that's a raff sent this next one. Uh, you guys managed to turn a dreadful and awful overnight shift into a slightly less dreadful and awful overnight shift. I work security and often find myself searching for new podcasts after I listen to all my favorites. I stumbled upon yours and have been listening ever since. Dads, rise Sweet. up. Sweet. That's cool. Bro. Yeah. Thank you. And we are, we are glad to help. Yeah, man. Uh, make sure you drink plenty of water. Yep. If you're listening to this right now, maybe stand up, take a stretch, you know. Do a little bend and a stretch. Do a little bend uh, <laughs> Uh, bust open this book. Yep. The Windsor of Love. <laughs> Buttress of Windsor. Yeah, that's what it is. Whatever. <laughs> um, all right. Misty Ted. Last one. Misty Ted. If Brian tips in gummies, I got him. Wherever he needs to go, I'll get him there. I mean, eventually. Wait. Where are we going again? <laughs> Yo, I need a ride right now. What's up? <laughs> Got Misty Ted, yeah, he's on his way. <laughs> All right, Misty. If he remembers how to get here. Yeah. 
<laughs> I assume that was uh, your follow-up story about uh, the tipping Colorado. the Colorado. Yeah. Yep. Tipping the Uber driver in gummies. Yep. Oh my gosh, dude! Episode thirteen. Woo! Coming in at a minute ten. What do you think, Star Wars? I think that was tight. That was good. Do that you have fun. anything left to say about um, Star Wars? May the Force be with you. May the Force be with you, dude. Yep. Um, and yeah. also with you. And all- <laughs> Peace be with you. <laughs> oh God. I'm sorry. When you're raised Catholic <laughs> and Episcopalian, it's the same shit. And somebody says, "May the force be with you," or anything with you, yeah. and also with and you. also with you. And I feel like I gotta shake a stranger's hand, like just yeah. <laughs> come here, you weird motherfucker. Oh my God. <laughs> See, dude, this is why we need to do a religious episode. I'm telling you. <laughs> <laughs> and also with you it's shaking people's hands I don't know who you are I don't really want to touch you oh you're a hugger okay Han <laughs> Solo's got no hand somebody reaches out may the force be with you and also with you I got no fucking hand I'm like what the shit what am I supposed to do <laughs> shake a <your> dick <laughs> Oh, fuck. Oh, we got to go, you guys. Um, okay, thanks again, everybody, for watching and Thank listening. Thank you all. We love you. We love you very much. We'll see you Monday we at 5. We got one more thing to say. Oh, and that is... Dads, Dads rise, rise up! See you Monday at 5, you guys. Bye. Bye, everyone.